Hey there, Saturday athletes. Saturday home athletes, that is. Uh, workout today, we have seven rounds total, right? We're doing seven rounds of work. We're gonna start a round every three minutes. So get your timer set accordingly, right? A round starts at the zero, 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 then starts at the three, starts at the six, get the idea. One round starts every three minutes. Um, you're getting each round done as quickly as possible. You're gonna record your score, your time for each round. Your score at the end of the workout is going to be your slowest round, right? Whichever one takes you the longest to do. These should be pretty quick rounds. As you can see, it's a relatively small amount of uh, reps. We have 15 dumbbell goblet squats. We have 12 alternating dumbbell snatches. And we have nine lateral over the dumbbell burpees, right? So we do that 15, 12, nine. That's one round, quick as you can. Rest for the remainder of the three minutes, right? If it takes you two minutes to do it, you get a whole minute to rest, minute and a half to do it, minute and a half to rest to get the idea. So the faster you go, the more rest you're gonna get. And I always encourage people to work at a fast but sustainable pace. So a workout like this might be tempting to like really blast out that first round or two, get it done in like a minute flat. Well, that'd be really fast, but you know, go really super fast. But then you kind of really fatigue yourself and your times get slower and slower and slower. You, know, you might have a really fast first round or two then really slow rounds at the end. Better yet, we try to start at a pace that we see ourselves doing throughout the entire workout, right? So think about round four, round five. How am I gonna feel then? What's my pace gonna be like? Can I replicate my, you know, that pace coming from round one? So think about that when you're going in, a little strategy rise, like, okay, I'm gonna shoot for, I feel two minutes or whatever it is. Um, all right, so quick demonstration of the movements. We need one dumbbell today. Goblet squats, we're gonna hold our dumbbell like this, right vertically, one bell. Kind of holding it underneath the chin. Let's keep those elbows in nice and tight so they don't run into our knees when we squat. Heels are about shoulder width apart. Remember with our squats, we always initiate with the hips, right? We send those hips back and down, right? So we're loading the hips, not the knees. And then we are squatting down to full depth, trying to get that hip crease well below the top of the knee, right? Feet are flat, squat, stand all the way up, giving those glutes and quads a good squeeze at the top to finish the movement. So 15 reps right there. Then we have our dumbbell snatches. You know them, you love them. Kind of a quick, explosive, full body movement. We use legs and hips first, right? We call that first part the jump. This creates momentum and speed. Then we pull the elbow straight up, keeping the weight nice and close to the body. And then we punch towards the ceiling, right? Make sure those heels stay flat on the floor, right? We jump, shrug, and punch. We're gonna switch hands every single rep on the floor, straight up overhead. Catching it with a nice vertical arm, ear, and bicep right next to each other. Again, pull that elbow straight up so the weight stays nice and close to your body before punching towards the ceiling. So 12 reps there total. That breaks down, down into six per side. And then, those are going to be pretty fast. And then probably things will slow down just a little bit with nine lateral over the dumbbell burpees. Now you have your one dumbbell on the floor. You do a burpee on one side, kind of parallel to the dumbbell. We jump all of it in. We jump those feet in. Ideally, the feet land right in line with the handle of our dumbbell. We jump laterally over the handle of our dumbbell. That's one rep I just did right there. You're going to be doing nine reps total. The nice thing about having these nine burpees at the end of the round is you know that as soon as you're done with these nine, get to rest. So the last try through them real quick, nine quick reps, check the clock, write down your, uh, your time for that round, and then rest for the remainder of the three minutes before the next round starts. So nice little bit of interval work today. Um, warm up, let's see, warm up, we don't need any equipment for. I want you to actually start with a run. I know I make you guys run a lot, but weather's still pretty good, so we might as well enjoy it while we can. So you're gonna pause the video. I want you to take a nice, easy paced 400 meter run, a couple minutes or so. I'll see you when you get back. And you're back. Great. So we're gonna run through a couple movements here. We're gonna do two rounds of three different movements. Let me get my timer going. We're gonna start with some pause air sports, right? So we're doing a uh, uh, 
squats in the workout today. Let's loosen up those hips. Three, two, one. So what we're doing here, we're just going to pause at the bottom. One, two, and stand. All right, so those hips back and down. Pause at the bottom. One, two, and stand. All right, a little two count pause at the bottom of every rep. Keep going. You got about 15 more seconds for our pause air squats. Make sure those heels are staying flat on the floor. We're gently pressing the knees out as we squat, right? We definitely don't want to do this when we squat. We're just going to gently press those knees out. Three, two, one. All right, our next movement, we have some push-up to down dogs. We're going to grab some floor. Push-up first, down dog second, right? Do your best push-up you can. And go back into a down dog pillows for a few seconds here. Three, two, one, go. I like to hang out in that down dog for a few seconds. Get those calves a good stretch. Right, press those heels down into the floor. And repeat. Got about 20 more seconds for push up to down dog. Ten more seconds, maybe another rep or two. We're not rushing, of course, we're just warming up. Getting those shoulders ready. All right, we're gonna go lateral line hops, right? So we're just gonna pick that imaginary line on the floor. We're gonna keep the feet together and we're gonna hop back and forth across that line in a lateral fashion, side to side. Get the idea? Warming up those calves and everything. Three, two, one, let's go. Just going back and forth. In the workout today, you'll be doing a lateral hop like this over your dumbbell. And remember, in the burpee stage, normally when we do a burpee, we finish with a little jump like that. That is being replaced with the lateral hop over the dumbbell. So don't go like this and then a lateral hop, right? So just a lateral hop. Ten more seconds, guys. Keep doing those line hops. Here come the beats. Three, two, one. We're going to run through that sequence one more time, right? So we're going to go back to our pause air squats. Again, remember, hips first, right? We send those hips back and down. We're going to do a little pause at the bottom. One, two, and stand. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds, pause air squats. Getting us ready for those dumbbell goblet squats in the workout today. I'm hoping you guys can get through all sets, all sets of 15 of those in a straight through fashion. In all seven rounds. Quite a bit of volume today. But you get rest in there, so that's good. Three, two, one. Uh, what do we do next? We need to push up to down dog. We'll go push up to down dog for another 30 seconds. So grab some floor. And as always, we're not moving at a real fast pace on these, right? Take your time. 30 seconds, you're maybe getting four reps, five reps, whatever. Three, two, one, go. Push up first, down dog second. When you're doing your down dog, press those heels into the floor and gently press your chest down towards your toes. This kind of helps open up the uh, you know chest and upper back a little bit. Um, we have 15 more seconds for push up to down dog. 10 more seconds. We're gonna do our lateral line hops again after this. And Warm up will be complete. Three, two, one. All right, our little 15 second pause. If you haven't noticed, I put a little 15 second pause in between each movement so we can kind of have a little chat like this. So, again, we'll do our, our line hops just like we did before, lateral fashion. All right, three, two, one. Line hops go. Lateral line hops. Um, weight wise, I mean, use whatever dumbbell you have. Doesn't need to be too heavy. And as always, if you do have a what's like one really heavy dumbbell, uh, adjust the reps accordingly, right? If you can't do the 15 or the 12 or whatever, feel free to scale it down. And again, as always, if you just have one really light dumbbell, maybe you want to up those reps a little bit. So be flexible. All right, three, two, one, warmed up and ready to go. So get your timer set, right? So you need seven three minute rounds, right? So a new round starts every three minutes. If you're doing the scoring thing, and you should be, uh, although you don't have to, um, record your time that you finish each round. We're looking for fast but consistent across all seven rounds. All right. Happy Saturday, athletes. Have a good workout. I'll talk to you soon.